Beat up the anime master. 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 Dragon Ball Z the anime master. Here we go the anime master. Dragon Ball Z. What's up, y'all? B Dub the Anime Master is back for an anime, DVD, and Blu ray reviews. Today's review is going to be Black Cat the Complete Series by Funimation Entertainment. So, let's get started with the review. This is the 2008 box set release for Black Cat the Complete Collection. It holds six DVDs housed on a digipack housed inside a chipboard box set pretty unique packaging if you uh you know what i'm saying it's not really used to digipacks being inside of a chipboard box i like the holographic style that it has you know the metallic platinum silver look and here's the digipack packaging as you can see some pretty nice cover art on it you know what i'm saying i think they use a japanese art i'm not really sure on that but it's pretty damn good and it comes with a special booklet here a 23 page character profiles booklets you know what i'm saying Pretty a well-made booklet, you know what I'm saying, for, you know, an anime box set release. There's the manga advertisement from Viz Media for Black Cat. And here's the uh, inside of the booklet, as you can see, some character stuff and designs and stuff like that. Now I'm going to give you a special close-up on the Digipack. Once again, very nice uh, cover art, very nice art on the Digipack. It is uh, 24 episodes on 6 DVDs. I'm going to show you the individual discs. These are the same DVDs that came with the original 6 singles, so nothing has really changed as far as discount, you know, stuff like that. Each disc has a, uh, a character on it and, you know, has some pretty decent art on it, so pretty good. And yeah, it's a pretty good uh, package, you know what I'm saying? It's uh, very nicely held together, no disc falling out or anything like that. DVD special features and audio options. Special features include a 23 page character booklet with uh, character profiles, information, weapons, you know, stuff like that. And uh, in your regular Funimation trailers, you know, and that's basically about it. Audio options. English 5.1 Dolby surround sound. English 2.0 stereo Dolby digital sound. And Japanese stereo 2.0 Dolby digital sound. Video is 16 by 9 widescreen. And now, let's move on with the quick synopsis of Black Cat. The series starts off with the main character, Train Hartnett, and he is part of this organization called the Kronos Numbers. And the Kronos Numbers are a group of people with special abilities, special powers, or special weapons. Each of them are assigned a special assassination. And the reason why they assassinate people is because they want to bring peace to the world, you know what I'm saying? And keep shit balanced, you know what I'm saying? So when Train Hartnett comes across a very difficult mission, he decides to give up his ways of being a part of the Kronos organization and wants his own freedom, his own freedom to use his gun to help people out instead of just mindlessly killing people. After he disbands from the Kronos organization, the rest of the Chrono numbers decide to go after Train Hardnet. And the 24 episode series is basically a cat and mouse game, or you know, back and forth chasing around and stuff. One of uh, Train Hardnet's, uh, I guess you can say, mentors is like overly obsessed with him. His name is Creed Diskins, and he has this weird ass sword we can like, it's like an invisible sword that can just pierce through you and stuff. Very uh, bloody, very violent, it is pretty freaking awesome. Uh, we also have another main character that uh, Train meets up within the series, uh, Savin Volfield, and he has a special ability. His special ability is to see about five minutes into the future with his vision eye. It's a pretty awesome ability and some pretty hilarious moments back and forth. So great action, great story, great characters, you know, crammed into this 24 episode anime series. The manga is also available from Viz Media. There's about 20 volumes. So if you want to get the manga story, check that out. All uh, 20 volumes is available. The manga series is only 20 volumes. So yeah, pros and cons. Pro. Uh, decent animation quality and some pretty awesome uh, opening and ending themes in my opinion and the series was pretty good as far as the action and the violence cons way too short and I felt uh, the series had too many characters towards I guess you can say the end of the second arc if you want to put it that way it was too many characters and I felt like it was kind of rushed to get to the ending but I'm pretty sure the manga version will be better so whatever 
video quality i'm going to have to give it a seven out of ten the reason why i give it a seven is because i have noticed some compression issues and some artifacting and it was kind of distracting on some episodes but it was uh i guess you could say bearable you know what i'm saying the audio quality gets a 8.5 out of 10 a 5.1 track is pretty good you know what i'm saying for the english dub you know regular japanese stereo so the audio was pretty good i never i didn't experience any uh, dropouts or anything like that and packaging, I'm going to have to give an 8 out of 10. Uh, I'm not really a fan of Digipack packaging, but the booklet and the chipboard box to put the Digipack in made up for it. So, yeah, 8 out of 10. So, I recommend this series to all my anime fans out there for some shonen action. It's a pretty damn good series. Great versatile characters and everything. So, yeah, I'm B-Dub the Anime Master. Peace.